Hey church, my name is Michaela Kwiatek. I work with our Spanish venue here at the Vista Campus and I am so excited to be bringing you the Daily Dose this morning. So growing up, I was always laughing and smiling and even when the situation didn't call for it. And sometimes I'd be in class and the teacher would say, this is kind of a more serious moment and I'd be the first one to laugh. Or someone would say something maybe sad and a little smile would peek through and I didn't understand why because I didn't think that what they were saying was funny, it was just my initial response. So as I got older, I asked my sister, hey, why do I respond like this? And she's like, you know, Michaela, I think God has just blessed you with an overwhelming amount of joy and you just gotta figure out how to work with it and what to do. And so as I got older, I just kind of learned how to navigate through that. And so because of this, joy has been a huge aspect of my life and something that God has taught me a lot through. And so I'm really excited to share with you about joy today. So we're gonna be in James 1, verses two through four. And it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I love how James drives home the point here that being joyful through these trials is something that produces perseverance and maturity in your faith. And he's not saying to shy away from them. He's saying to lean into them because it's going to produce those characteristics in your faith. And I think sometimes we feel like we have to be happy all the time in these situations, but I think there's a distinct difference between happiness and joyfulness. Happiness is temporary and it is dependent on your circumstance. It's dependent on a feeling. Whereas joyfulness, joyfulness is dependent on Christ and what he did for you. And it's choosing that. It's not dependent on a feeling. And so when we choose joy during these really hard times in our life, we're reflecting Christ. And we're known as Christians by how we act. And other people can see the difference in us. So when it's hard and when we're choosing joy, we're reflecting Christ and people can see that. And I think sometimes in these difficult situations, we need to have a lens of joyfulness and to let that be a filter through these different situations. And I know life is hard and sometimes you don't want to always choose joyfulness. But when you do, you're producing maturity in your faith. You're producing perseverance. And that is something that is truly incredible. So instead of letting negative instances and outcomes in your life decide your feelings let what Christ did for you and your willingness to reflect that choose your actions and sometimes what helps me be joyful is realizing that Jesus is taking care of the outcome I can be joyful because I know that in this trial or when things are hard, I know that he has got it taken care of. And that's where I can find my joy. And so if you're struggling to find joy, know that you can find it in your faith in Christ. Know that he's given it to us. And that when we choose to reflect that, other people can see it. And you're making an impact on those around you. So I want to encourage you today to choose joyfulness when it's hard when that's not your initial response. Because other people can see it and they're gonna ask you. They're gonna say, you're different. I wanna know you better. I wanna know why you're different. And that's gonna impact those around you for Christ and for his kingdom. So let's be joyful together today, church, even when it's hard. And when we choose that, we're impacting others for God's kingdom. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.